My name is Josh. I'm 22 years old and I make a lot of music. I play guitar, piano, and I play the computer. Started music when I was in middle school. I was a huge loner, so I started playing guitar when I was in eighth grade. My band's name is The Color Wild. I mean, you can tell by the name, it's a very pop sort of band. I play guitar for the band. Um, and then I do a lot of the writing. It's very upbeat, kind of happy, exciting, fun, dancey type music. The biggest show I've ever played was when we opened up for Jesse McCartney a couple months ago. 2,000 people there or something like that. So there's, it was a pretty good, pretty good concert. So this is the epitome of a home studio. It's very cramped, very small. Um, it's about as bare minimum as you can get. You need three things for a home studio. You need a laptop, you need speakers, and you need an audio interface. And then I also have the nice monitor and I have this um, keyboard here. You also need the software and that can be quite expensive at times. Music is a very expensive hobby or profession. So there's a lot of, a lot of investment in, in this sort of setup, even, even though it's not even that big of a setup. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I sort of take a musical idea in my head and kind of make it into something. So uh, we're gonna start here by pulling up the software. I'm gonna sort of expand on the idea I got like two days ago. As a musician, you're always thinking of new ideas in your head. And so at work, I, I do that pretty often where I just sort of think of, you know, new song ideas. And so I got this sort of idea of a uh, guitar riff. I'm just gonna sort of try to expand on it and see what I can build from the idea in my head. All right, so we're gonna load up a new song, 140 beats per minute. So the first idea that I had in my head was a guitar track. So we're just gonna record some guitar. This is my guitar here. To be honest, it's not the best guitar I could be using for this genre, which is pop. This is almost sort of like a metal guitar, but it's what I have at the moment. So I'll just have to make do. So I like this take here. I kind of had an idea that I wanted strings. I think what I want to do is sort of add in sort of a uh, an opening so the guitar starts out the song and then it kind of just opens up into a nice groove so what I'm gonna do next is go through these drum sets find some good sounds add a good beat to it and we'll see where it goes I have this MIDI keyboard here which allows me to play these drum samples on these so and these are touch sensitive so you can kind of get like you know, if you hit it harder, it'll it'll play it louder with more force. So you can kind of get some beats going with just these, like uh, like the bass drums here, like, and then you got all kinds of wacky sounds. That's kind of cool. But at this point, I'm just kind of looking for sounds. Let's try that. We're going to make this uh, fade in and then kind of sweep in so it's going to give it a nice sort of build, a nice sort of like build into the uh, into the verse. 
gonna sound really cool. So that's just sort of a little glimpse into, into how music is made. I'm probably gonna work on this idea for a while. Maybe it'll become a song for my band, maybe not. But I mean, there's no right or wrong way to write music. So yeah, pretty cool. Thank you.